Matt Hagen rolling out here now. New look this weekend for Jason Johnson and Johnson's horsepower to garage. He's been an associate on that Tony Stewart owned car for a pretty good chunk of the season. Rolling here to Sonoma Raceway. Taking over the primary signage, and it really makes perfect sense because if you know Jason Johnson, if you follow him or you see any of his social media posts or you've ever checked out the Johnson Horsepower Garage online, you understand what a big, big, big Dodge Chrysler Corporation guy he is. He's going to be associated with a fast funny car. He's definitely going to be a Dodge, and, well, he's associated with a pretty fast Dodge over there. John Forrest here on the right side for Pete. Andy Freeze and Coolant. The greatest to ever play this game. This racetrack, like, well, pretty much every other track on tour, has been very kind to John over the years. Over the folks at NKC, Cornwall Tools, of course, the Auto Club. Danny Hood, Temper Breezy. Matt Hagen yesterday had a solid run. Currently has him third. John Force yesterday did not part a solid run on either one of his attempts, and he is uh, currently down to number 11 spot. John Danny Hood, they have real aggressive numbers early. Last night's run, got out there and pulled the tire loose. Really turned that car sideways. They get down the track. They'll be able to put up a pretty good number. Four double oh four, three hundred twenty one miles an hour, and Matt Hagen takes the Johnson's horsepower garage machine right down the boulevard. Force with problems out there. Goes five eighteen. You saw him try to pedal it and get through there. If nothing else, that might be a little bit of practice for tomorrow. But Matt Hagen, Dickie Venables and the boys showing everybody you can get down there, you just gotta do it gently. Joe. Down here with Dickie Venables who did just that. You got down. So that's a good run. Well, you know, it's it's obviously tricky out here, so we just, uh, you know, we just gambled and, and pulled it back to try to go A to B. So, you know, there's some cars left, but we're happy with it. Last night, shoot came out. I could see you were real disappointed. What was uh, what was it on? Uh, it was probably going to run 87 or 8. Uh, it had real good early numbers, but it was pretty soft after that. Uh, we just had a malfunction, and today's a new day. Ah, the one that got away. Alexis DeJoria still sitting in the number one spot. Ron Caps two. Matt Hagen sits third as we watch again from way down at the end of the racetrack. John Force tried to pedal his way through the trouble spot, but the Peak Chevrolet was having no part of that. 